Hello guys, my name is Figa Falabi and welcome to my channel on sharing career tips um, for the career persons. So um, a few months back I had done um, 10 things that should not be on your CV and today I'll be doing a second part because I found out more things as I had the opportunity to review CVs for a company and um, I just thought to share and this could benefit someone out there. So the first one is um, try as much as possible to make your CV brief, especially if you have been working for over 10 years um, and have moved from one organization to the other. It's important you try to summarize your responsibilities and achievements because you can, when um, recruiters have like over a thousand CV to review, it can be too much of a work. So try to limit, summarize um, to the best of your knowledge. And number two, if you have to put a phone detail, let it be just phone number. No need to say my phone number and then the number or say my brother's phone number or my wife's phone number or my sister's phone number. Um, that's not um, a very good thing to do. Number three, do not leave personal details such as bank accounts or BDN numbers. These are things that I have seen from experience. So I can tell you people have done that, but it is not required. Do not do that. And number four, please do not post your credentials on your CV, such as your certificates. Like I've seen some people do that. They just make it like a small icon and they post it that there. It's not required. Don't do that. If the recruiter needs those kind of information, once they like you and the right time comes, they'll ask for that. So please do not expose your personal details because you're putting yourself in arms way then um, do not paste your passport photograph I've seen quite a number of people do that the only time you do that is if you're asked to do that by the recruiter then it's okay but if you're not asked just leave it as simple as possible then try to explain um, your job your job sometimes I just see people not maybe just you just have one liner of what they've done come on you work for somewhere for more than two years and you just have a one liner no it's a no no i know writing cvs can be painstaking but take your time and do a proper job if you want that job you've always desired to have then do not just leave your title and say program officer or maybe program manager or finance officer just like that to put the organization and the, the title is a no no do not do that watch out for alphabetical errors that's the eighth point um for the ninth one don't forget to state your educational qualification sometimes people want to recruit people who have a um, qualification in maybe biochemistry for example and they're looking out for that and they can't see it and maybe you have that but somehow you missed it out of your cv so please take your time to put out your educational qualification on your CV. And finally, the last one, please use a formal font. Don't use an artistic font and try to make it beautiful. Nobody wants to see those kind of things. They just want to ensure that your CV is organized, it's um, friendly to the eyes. Stick with um, official fonts such as Romance or Arial and use the same font size except maybe you have to vote in some areas maybe the headings and topics but for the body use the same font so this is all from me today and um, stay tuned subscribe to my youtube channel follow us on all our social media and we'll be back for more tips to help you excel in your career bye